Australia and New Zealand on Tuesday applauded a landmark court decision that Japan must halt its annual Antarctic whale hunt, but raised fears it may try to sidestep the order and embark on a new scientific hunt. The United Nations Hague-based International Court of Justice ICJ, ruled on Monday that Japan's whaling program was a commercial activity disguised as science, and said it must revoke existing whaling licenses. A deeply disappointed Tokyo said it would honour the ruling, but did not exclude the possibility of future whaling programs, with New Zealand expressing concerns Japan may try to circumvent the order. The ICJ decision sinks a giant harpoon into the legality of Japan's whaling program, New Zealand Foreign Minister Murray McCulley said. It still does leave Japan with a decision to make after they've digested this, which is to look at whether they try to devise a new program that is scientifically based that they could embark upon whaling in the Southern Ocean again. Our task is to make sure that we carry out a diplomatic conversation that dissuades them from embarking on that course. A Japanese minister on Tuesday defended whaling, seen by some as an important cultural practice, but stopped short of detailing what next steps Japan would take. Whale meat is an important source of food, and the government's position to use it based on scientific facts has not changed, Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries Minister Yoshimasa Hayashi told a press conference. We will scrutinize the verdict and study measures to be taken swiftly he said according to the GG News Agency. Japan also has a coastal whaling program which is not covered by the ban. Australia, backed by New Zealand, hauled Japan before the ICJ in 2010 in a bid to end the annual Southern Ocean Hunt. Tokyo has long been accused of exploiting illegal lower hole in the 1986 ban on commercial whaling that allowed the practice to collect scientific data. Japan has killed 10,000 of the giant mammals under the scheme since 1988, Australia has alleged. International law expert Stephen Freeland, from the University of Western Sydney, said Japan could simply redesign its whaling program to skirt the ruling. He pointed out that the ICJ confirmed scientific research can include killing whales, just not so many. The problem for Japan was its failure to take proper account of non-lethal methods of research or to justify the actual catch numbers it had declared, he said. Japan may instead take a very close look at why its implementation of its research program fell foul of its legal obligations and perhaps seek to design and ultimately implement a new whaling program that takes into account all of those elements. Japan had argued that its JAPA-2 research program was aimed at studying the viability of whale hunting, but the ICJ found it had failed to examine ways of doing the research without killing whales, or at least while killing fewer of them. Meizayuki Kamatsu, a former head negotiator for Japan on the whaling issue, said Tokyo had been a victim of its own lax approach over the last decade. It became clear in the court procedure and hearings that Japan was not ambitious enough about its scientific research as it did not catch as many whales as it needed for obtaining data, he said. As a result, the entire research whaling program was judged as a commercial hunt. A respected blogger and social commentator on Japanese issues, who goes by the name of Heiko Zeman, said the narrow issue of whether or not the whaling program was science largely missed the point. I think it is clear that both sides here were seeking moral vindication of their positions, he told us to Leanthderopoulos. Even if it can fix the technical issues with its scientific whaling program, Japan will need to weigh up whether it is worth the increasing PR damage this issue causes. The irony, added Heiko Zeman, is that the issue of whaling is itself not particularly important for many Japanese. But efforts to demonize Japan over this issue have galvanized a siege mentality that has transformed this from an issue about the right to hunt and eat whales, into a more fundamental issue of fair treatment among countries with different cultural values, he said.